Well, hello everybody. For those of you new to my YouTube channel, my name is Robert, part-time RVer here, and uh, we travel around the country towing a Winnebago Micro Mini 1706 FB 2015 model here, which shortly after we bought it, we named uh, Minitini. Minitini the trailer. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV. My Wherever I want to be Because I'm free in my RV yeah. well, It turns out Minitini here is turning five years old uh, this week So I wanted to give you a quick, uh, you know, do a quick video Showing you um, how it's uh, held up uh, After five years of pretty heavy use, let me tell you um, uh, we've driven all over the country to all, uh, almost all corners of the country, probably 60,000 miles on the road. And uh, so far, I mean, it's, today it's, it's kind of dirty, which is it's, uh, it's the way it is when you are on the road, right? And um, let, 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 me, let me just go around and I'm going to do the outside portion right here. By the way, I'm in, in the upper peninsula of Michigan and that's Lake Superior right there behind me. And uh, anyways, here we go. At the time when we bought Minitini, it was the shortest and lightest trailer that Winnebago made. And right now they have like a, like a full lineup of different trailers, but at the time there, there were only like five models and this was the smallest. And uh, it came with nitrogen filled wheels and we're never gonna use nitrogen again, let's face it, but it, it's a good gimmick that they use. Here we have an electric awning that comes out. These speakers are useless. Uh, the, uh, the, the patio light is not great. Even, even though after, even after I upgraded to, a, to, a, to an LED light, it's really not that great. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Let's go around. Awning style windows. I'll tell you more about it when we are inside. And um, here we have an outlet for cable and, 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 and power, just in case you wanted to put a an outside TV here, never done that, uh, and never gonna do it properly. Here's a, a pretty sizable storage, which I am going to show you. Actually, let me show you right now. And it's probably a little bit of a mess here because I've been on the road, and um, and you know stuff tends to shift around. But as you can see, it's pretty big, and it's and it's uh, it goes all the way through to the other side of the trailer. So, yeah, and you can fit a lot of stuff here, uh, for sure. It's, it's one of the best features, actually, of, of this trailer. The, the great amount of storage uh, that it has. And uh, let's come here to the front. Of course, you have four scissor-style stabilizer jacks. That's pretty standard. Uh, we have a, an outlet here if you want to put a, 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 you know, a, a grill, an outside uh, grill. But um, the one thing with that outlet is it, it's, uh, it's uh, regulated. So if you have a grill with a regulator, you, you, you would have to remove the regulator from your grill in order to be able to use it. Here in the front, it came uh, standard with uh, two 20-pound uh, uh, tanks of propane. And it came standard with, uh, with an 80 amp hour uh, lead acid, which uh, since then I've upgraded to um, to AGM and it's still kind of insufficient for what I for the use that I need so eventually I am going to upgrade to something either even with more capacity than that uh, what else do we have here electric jack it didn't come with it but uh, it was the first upgrade that I did once I saw the guy at the at the dealership going up and down you know manually I'm like oh, I'm in Florida I'm gonna sweat a lot so I'd rather have an electric this, by the way, is a ProPride hitch that, um, that I got as a free promotional item, and it's really great. It, and, and, but which brings me to one of the first negatives about this trailer. It's, uh, being so small, it's also very low to the ground, very low clearance. So, so the, the ProPride hitch is, is, is really made for a bigger uh, trailer, larger trailer, taller. So it does have a kind of low clearance which hasn't been a big problem but I tend to bottom out sometimes you know when I come out of a gas station or in rough terrain or, or 
stuff like that. By the way, I, I, as, if you follow my channel, you know I have a camera on top of the trailer. Is that mount up there? That's a, a standard GoPro mount that I use um, for the trailer cam. One of these days I'm going to give you an, a, 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 a review of the, the truck, the Colorado. Anyways, here on the, on the service side of the trailer, really, which is the, the driver's side usually, um, it came with an Atwood on demand, the OD, I think it's called the OD 40 model water heater, which was really awful. So that, that's, that was one of the must do upgrades that I did shortly after we got the trailer and, and no, not shortly after, like two years after we had the trailer. And this is what we have now is a Truma Aqua Go. And I wish I would have gotten the comfort model. This is the basic model, but still, it's, it's day and night uh, compared uh, to, to that awful uh, Atwood on demand heater that came uh, with Minitini the trailer. This is, of course, the back of the refrigerator, the back of our uh, onboard furnace. I believe it is 15,000 BTU, but I could be wrong. Here's our power in inlet, our gravity fill, and our, our city water connection cable and satellite hookups that I've never used and I probably never will. Here's the emer emergency hatch here. This is a part of the, of the, you know, the, the, the kitchen, you know, the, the, the hood, the hood of the kitchen. Here's an, an outdoor uh, shower that we don't use all that often, but I've used it a couple of times. Black tank flush, which not every RV v comes with a black tank flush, and I think that's a very good feature. Coming back here to, to our uh, sewer and uh, gray water. As you can see, it's very low to the ground, as, it's, as, as it, being, it, it being the general theme of this trailer. It's a, it's a very low clearance trailer. We might change that in the future. But that is a problem sometimes, because sometimes you are even you know, in, in dumping uphill. <laughs> because you know you're, there's not enough enough uh, slope for for gravity to do its thing. Sometimes here we have this this bumper, which you could put the sewer hose in there, but I opted not to do it. A full size spare tire, my ever growing sticker collection here, and we have a ladder to to go up to the roof. Some of the lighting out, uh, outside is LED, but not this. These two are, are regular incandescent. This is a hitch that I added in order to put a, a, a bike rack, but I, have never, I haven't really used the bike rack. I, I, I need to reinforce the, the welding on that, um, uh, on that rear bumper because it's not supposed to, to, hold, to, to be able to hold a lot of weight. By the way, this here is uh, very easy, very easy to to set up um, just one one step ladder, which if I ever decide to raise the trailer, we might have to change that. We'll, we'll do that when, when the moment comes. Here I have, of course, a TPMS system. Very important to have a tire pressure monitoring system. And this is a TST system that I have. And uh, I'm trying to think wha what else uh, to show you here on the outside. Well, let's, let's go up to the roof and let me show you what I've done in, in terms of upgrades in the roof. And here we are, not a, not a whole lot of real estate left here in the roof. Of course, as you can see, I've added three solar panels. That one came first, 100 water. And then I added 200 watts more because I thought that, would go, that was going to solve my, my, all my power issues. But obviously, I need more, ba more battery storage because what happens at night? You don't get storage and uh, you don't get solar and then you deplete your batteries. I have not one but two, one and two uh, fantastic vents and that's been a great upgrade. This, this one came with a, with a regular, you know, non-fun vent here on the, the first one. And this one was, you know, one of those cheap ones that come, that, that, you know, that RV bathrooms have with a tiny little fan. And uh, when I was installing this uh, solar panel, I broke it. So that was a good excuse to, to get me a second um, fantastic fan. Here's the antenna for the TV that we never use, but uh, what I did in, with the antenna 
right on the antenna I put the, the antenna for our WeBoost system which is a cellular booster which I don't use as much anymore nor do I use as much anymore the Wi-Fi Ranger because the latest upgrade is this uh, is the Togo Roadlink uh, system uh, with, the, with the WineGuard antenna powered by WineGuard and um, it, it is a prepaid unlimited AT&T data plan that that I got with it and it's, it's probably the, one of the most inexpensive ways to get unlimited internet right now on the road and um, and that was a $400 uh, up, upfront cost but then it is uh, $360 for a whole year of unlimited AT&T I, th I think it's a, it was a pretty decent deal here's our 13,500 BTU air conditioner which I uh, equipped with a soft soft start system an easy start by micro air uh, by the way I, 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 and when, whenever I, one of these was a promotional item like the micro air uh, easy start I'm gonna put a link uh, and uh, of course if, if you use the promo code my RV you get a discount I get a commission and we're all happy right here this is the refrigerator vent and here is where I you know, oh, 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 I didn't want to open any more holes in my roof. So all the wire, all the wiring uh, coming from the roof goes down through there. This is, of course, the solar. This is uh, the, the antenna. And this is a, um, a waterproof USB that originally I, I was hoping would power uh, the GoPro camera there on the front. But uh, GoPro 7s are very finicky and uh, it would make the camera crash so I opted for uh, the, and this is the final solution an anchor a power bank uh, and uh, that is the brand that has worked best uh, for me so uh, that's what I'm using uh, what else do we have up here uh, anyways I'm doing this on unscripted by the way I haven't written any notes or anything like that uh, so I'm sure I'm going to forget something and maybe I'll do an addendum at the end. Let me try to get down here uh, from the roof without whew, without breaking anything. Well, in any case, that's mini tiny the trailer, the outside. And as soon as we get to the campground and I get settled in, or I don't know what, I, I probably boondog tonight actually. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you the inside. So, right now, actually, let's fly the drone. Before we go inside, uh, it's a different day and I'm wearing different clothes and everything, but I just thought of this. Some things that not, are not holding up as well, and this is, uh, besides the fact that the Benetini is dirty, this is not dirt, this is some kind of discoloration or oxidation there, so that's not holding up too well. You know, this is starting to, um, to wear out, I mean, it's been five years in the south florida sun and exposed to the elements and the road so and the other one the rv lock look at this it's kind of falling apart it's been getting progressively worse and at some point i'm not going to be able to use it anymore but um, for now it's all right this i've had to change twice this i had to change once because you know all this 
plastic stuff disintegrate in the heat. My jacks are good. My my hitch, it's starting to, to get rusty here and there. You know how it is. Oh, this. This is relatively new. I guess with the bouncing of the road, it's starting to... Uh, there's some flex on that uh, tongue. Yeah, what else, you know, this got erased, so I have no idea anymore what my, my gross weight is, or anything like that. And this, of course, I've had to change because they do get disintegrated in the South Florida heat. This is, uh, I had to change too. And this, this I've broken off two or three times, so this is like the fourth one. And this I lost once in the Arizona desert, so this is an aftermarket one. And I'll keep, I'll keep uh, telling you things that are wearing out with time. And more inside, there, there's a lot of stuff inside that, that I can show you. And now for the final portion of this video, let's, let me show you inside our Wanabago Micro Mini 1706 FB 2015 model mini teeny the trailer here. And um, let me show you exactly what's held up and what hasn't and all the upgrades that we've done. By the way, one of the upgrades is this RV lock that now, now it's, you know, I need to put WD-40 on it. Although even though sometimes, even after a couple of days, it'll start getting jammed again. Anyways, but let, me, let me start by saying, uh, for what it is, you know, a relatively inexpensive trailer, uh, which is not really meant for long-term use or, or for full timing for that matter. I think uh, a Minitini has held up uh, amazingly well uh, in the in the past five years and and I don't recall exactly how many miles I put on it I have I need to upgrade my Excel file but it's been like 50 60 thousand miles it's been a lot and you know this thing has been bouncing up and down uh, on the highway so um, it's like an earthquake in here so I'm, sometimes I, I'm surprised th things uh, have held up as well as they have this is our stereo Jensen, you know, it's the kind of run of the mill what, what Wanabago puts in all most of their 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 RVs. And uh, you know, it's DVD, no Blu-ray. That's the one thing that, you know, it's kind of a bummer. But anyway, we don't have a TV anymore, so who cares? But it works well. You know, it has Bluetooth. Uh, I did upgrade the speakers. The speakers that came with, with this uh, trailer were really, really not, not as bad as the, out, the outdoor speakers. But still, they were pretty bad. So I, I upgraded to this uh, 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 speakers, Rock, Rock for Fuscate, I think they are. And they sound much better. Still not great, but they sound better. And uh, here we have our control panel. And this is our uh, uh, patio light, the light here. That, this light I changed to, uh, I'll tell you in a few minutes why I changed it. This is our awning power. And the uh, awning, of course, is a, is a power awning. So we don't use this, uh, we don't use it as much as we thought we were going to use it. I use it I use I use it a lot actually when it rains. So you know so so I can go outside and not get wet. But I don't use it as much and I'm terrified that it, it, a gust of wind is going to come and and blow it, you know, so um, and and break it. So I don't use it as much. Here's our control panel with the water pump and the heater. And the water pump, I have it on right now because this camp, campground, oddly, oddly enough, is only electric. You don't have a, a water to your site, but there's a, a potable water at the dump station. Battery, fresh water, which is yeah, one third. I've used more than I thought I had. Uh, our black and gray, they almost always say full because the sensors. And I know there's, uh, there's some compounds that you can use you know some chemicals that you can put in the in the water tank and uh, supposedly they clean the sensors but I'm like you know they're gonna they're gonna get uh, clogged again so I pretty much eyeball it I mean we have very large uh, water tanks for a trailer of this size and that's something I didn't mention when I when I did the outside uh, um, uh, review but we, we have 43 uh, gallons of fresh water and then uh, the black and gray are both 25 gallons and especially the black that's quite a bit I don't I don't ever worry about the black I mean 25 gallons of poop that's a lot of poop but um, gray uh, yeah if you take a, a daily shower and you especially if you do dishes uh, those 25 gallons go can, can go pretty quickly and I have a fly in here 
so th there you go. Here I have some more stuff. I have like my first aid kit and some movies and some stuff that I thought I was books that I thought I was gonna read and I haven't had time for any of that. This is our wardrobe closet. This uh, the trailer did not. This is actually one of my favorite upgrades we've done. We used to have a TV here. Actually, we used to have a, a, a TV backer board and some some outputs because Minitini didn't come with the TV. I added the TV. It come TV. It came TV ready, but we never watched the TV. So I decided to convert it into a into a wardrobe closet which is a much more useful space here and uh, here's where i have the wii boost which since i got the togo road link i don't use as much anymore but there's certain circumstances where i've used it like the, the togo works great for internet but it, what if i had to make a call and in that case if i'm in one of those uh, marginal signal uh, areas i've used the 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 Wii Boost and it works really, really well. Here's our very cozy but very functional bathroom. In fact, we, don't, we hardly ever use uh, campground uh, bathroom facilities because it is a dry bath. It has everything we need. You know, it's relatively comfortable. The, sh the shower is smallish, it's cozy, but it's large enough that you can get a relatively good sh shower. You know, it's a uh, it's all right. It's, I mean, it's, it's high enough that, you know, I don't, I don't bump into anything. And I did add this second shower head holder. And, uh, well, the main upgrade is this. And this is something that I think, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those mo must upgrades. It's uh, an oxygenic uh, shower head. And this thing is, is, it really does make a difference with water pressure when you want to take a shower. Our toilet, yeah, it's fine. You know, it's, um, it's, 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 as I say, it's cozy, but it works well. It's a tiny faucet, and it's this, the same faucet works for the shower. And down here, if, if you want to use the shower, you lift it up. If you want to use the faucet, you push it down. And it's sometimes, you know, it's, it can be finicky, but it's fine. Here's our medicine cabinet with a mirror and... Uh, you know, it's nice. It has it's it has a nice size. The only thing, this mirror is a little a little high for Illy, my wife. So I decided to add a second mirror here, which is not the best quality mirror in the world world, but you know, it reflects, and that's the most important part. Uh, what else did I add here? Well, I added this hook because you you, you can never have enough hooks. Of course, that's the fantastic vent. That used to be one of those, uh, as I said, one of those, like, the, the, the ones that had, like, the tiny little, uh, you know, little fan. And um, what else? I, I don't think. Ah, this. This is a, a, a shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel dispenser, which right now, the conditioner, I'm using it for, for, sh for uh, hand soap. Uh, because um, we don't use conditioner as much, and that conditioner was getting old there, and it was, like, it, it, it was kind of gross. Here's the controller for this fantastic vent. And down here you can turn on and off the light. Very cool. This hook did actually come with Mini TV. Moving right along. Here's the, the thermostat for our furnace. It is a very basic thermostat. You, you, you cannot even, you know, set exactly uh, what temperature do you want, but you can eyeball it. This here is a holder. This this was originally gonna go in the in the shower curtain. By the way, the shower curtain. Let me show you. Has seen better days. You know, it's aging. I need to replace it at some point. And I forgot to show you one major upgrade. And this is this has been great. I put some Velcro here. To 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 so so it stays attached to this wall because. We, we used to get water leaks, although, you know, it, 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 water would leak out and, and into the RV, and, uh, and it was a mess. Okay, told you about this. This is the other fantastic vent, which is up here. Don't, don't look at the, at the screen, it's kind of dirty. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, uh, another uh, addition, and I'm going to have to go back into the bathroom because I forgot to show you. I, we added this... Um, this uh, paper towel dispensers, that, and this. And yet another thing about the bathroom, and this is 
one of the things that has not um, aged well, let's put it that way. And it is something that I guess I guess want to beg in order to save money and to saving weight because this is a lightweight unit. Um, you know, chippened out a little bit on this part. And let me show you this. You see how this uh, piece of wood here is, is like warping up. This is particle board. Particle bo board and water are not a good combination. And this is right next to the shower. So this will always get wet. And that's why it's warping up like that. And eventually I'm going to have to change this and uh, and change it into like a like a like a Korean countertop or something like that. We'll see. That when the when the time when when it finally is you know gets gets finally destroyed, we'll do that. Another thing, and you see, we we, we just lost another piece today because I was paralyzed. I was cleaning. Look at this. And this is of course this part usually gets wet, especially you know when when you get a when you get uh, like a. You know, water spilling out from the from the shower, and um, yeah, you know it's it's this material is like it's like a step up from cardboard and uh, not a very not a very big step. <laughs> okay, on to nicer things. You see, this is kind of uh, warping up a little bit too. This is our uh, our sink here. Very nice. It's a double sink. You get the, this thing here, the, the 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 faucet that you you know it's it's very nice because sometimes you you need to move it around and this spice rack I added, I bought I bought it on Amazon. It's very nice because it, it you know it, they don't occupy any space and you have all your spices handy there. Up here I have more stuff. I has my my coffee and sugar and. Uh, and some of like like my oil and salt and pepper and some condiments, other stuff. Our Atwood three burner range. This is standard. Most RVs have this same type of uh, of range. It, you know, it it works well. It it doesn't heat up as much as a domestic range, but it is what it is. It is an RV, so you have to get used to those things. Down here we have our pots and pans and down here well this is another addition i added this um, um, um hello robert trash can because <laughs> i'm tired i've been touring Makina island all day so uh, yeah that's where i am in real time um i added that and uh, down here you know, have all kinds of junk and some cleaning supplies and stuff like that pots and pans more cleaning stuff and uh, other supplies. Here's our three-way Dometic refrigerator. It's automatic, so whenever uh, I, I turn off the, the, the electricity, it goes automatically to gas. And if you want to force it to go on DC, you can do that too. It's on the coldest setting. And it works well, as you can see right now, especially when it is uh, with, um, with uh, AC. It works great. Uh, when it is on propane and you are on the road, it, especially if it is a warm weather, it tends not to cool as much, but it is sufficient. This up here was just a, a useless hole. So what we, we did, we found this uh, cargo net, and, uh, which I forget where, I, where we bought it, but I might put a link to it, and uh, we made it into our pantry. But not only our pantry, I'm, I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm going to empty out, empty it out and do a shot of this. Because back there I have my solar con uh, controller. I have the, the Wi-Fi Ranger. I have the switch for the, for the Togo Road Link. And, uh, you know, I've, 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 I've kind of utilized this space as, as, as well as possible. Down here is our furnace uh, outlet and... Uh, our electrical box, the, you know, the, 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 the breaker box, and the furnace does have uh, another um, outlet here, but it, it doesn't really blow much through that outlet, so it's almost just for show. 
if, if we really want the bathroom to, to get warm, we have to open the, the bathroom door and, and leave it up. Okay, this is our bed. Oddly enough, very comfortable. I, I kind of almost sleep better here than, than in my uh, silly prostrupedic uh, 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 pillow top that I have uh, in, the, in the home in Miami. So, yeah, very nice. And I, and I figured that I could store things like uh, on, on the, on, in all these uh, edges. Like down here, I have my, my piano. Uh, and, um, and here, this is like a, like a nightstand. I don't have anything here right now, but... But we could put like books and maps and stuff like that. Up here, I'm not even gonna show you. There's so much stuff uh, st stuff up here. It, it's like a kitchen sink, whatever didn't fit anything anywhere else. But this whole thing, this this whole storage compartment is full of stuff. So um, what else up here? More storage. This is kind of empty. This is where I store like water bottles and stuff, and those are uh, extra towels. And up here is uh, our dirty laundry and laundry detergent and all that good stuff. This is the camera that I use when I want to record a cooking show. And um, this, what is this you might ask? <laughs> well, Mettini came with a standard dinette table, which wasn't very comfortable. I mean, it was functional, it was uh, comfortable for certain things. But of course, these are recreational vehicles. They are made for recreation. So they never make them with the, the, the nomadic worker in mind. And right now we are in full production mode here, as you can see, because I'm going to record the podcast later. I'm going to edit uh, this video uh, later today. So um, I needed a, a lot of desk space. And that's why I did this double desk uh, system with two office chairs. Because the idea is uh, for Ili and I both to be able to work together from the road at some point when we, when we start when we start full timing or at the very least part timing. So we, we are both going to need to work from the road. So we have and this is version 1.0, of course, version 2.0. I want I want the you know this is a folding desk from IKEA, and it folds here. Uh, ideally, I would like it to fold halfway. So we have one permanent part and then the other, the other uh, leaf we lift it whenever needed. You know, that'll come later. Down here I added a, an inverter, by the way, this is a, 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 an inverter. And this is an inverted power plug that, that, that I have. Of course, right now I don't have the battery power. My battery is kind of shot, so I don't have the battery power to, to use the inverter as much as I would like to. But... Okay, our air conditioner, uh, 13,500 13, BTU, I believe it is. It's nice. It's loud. What can you do? They are all uh, loud, and of course, I, I have it equipped with that uh, micro air easy start, uh, which, which uh, m makes it possible for it to work um, with less power, with less uh, initial uh, power. Uh, I'm sure there's other stuff that I need to show you, our, our fire alarm, this is the crank up antenna. I crank it up sometimes when I need to, the, because the Wii Boost antenna is on this antenna, so whenever I, I you know, if it gets a little higher. Uh, what else do we have here? USB, this is the, the internal antenna for the Wii Boost. So when you use the Wii Boost, whatever uh, device you want to boost, you place it close to this. And I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I, I wanted to talk about these windows. And, and at some point I would like to get blackout shades like, like, the, like the MCD shades or something like that. Because, you know, when you're parked at a Walmart and it's bright outside, you know, this, these are not blackout shades at all. And then let me tell, talk, talk about these windows. Because they are a very dark tint. So even during the day, by me, I mean, right now, it's, uh, we, we are, what, uh, less than an hour away from sunset. So it's not very bright outside, bright outside. But even if it is bright outside, you, you don't ever feel like, like the windows are open. You, you, you need to turn on the lights in here all the time. And, um, yeah, and, uh, and then they are these awning-style windows. And... Uh, yeah, they're fine and they're good in the sense that they can be open even if it's raining. But other than that, I never really feel like 
it's it's a little if if it's not the right word but it can get a little claustrophobic in here particularly being such a small trailer such a cozy trailer i would like to see more window more more w larger windows so uh, and non-tinted windows so we can see outside and uh, and get a get a sense you know for the outdoors Five years ago I said I was going to change these valances and I haven't done it yet, but one of these days I will. Here's uh, the other, the, 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 the kitchen window, it, it's kind of tiny. And then you have uh, the bedroom window there, which is pretty nice. It's the same, I think it's the same size almost as the, as the living room and that's the emergency exit right there. Here's our map. Well, you haven't seen our map filled up yet. Yeah, gaping hole here for North Dakota, and then Vermont and New Hampshire, and Maryland and Delaware, because uh, we haven't really done nothing in those states. I'm gonna try to do Maryland and Delaware now on my way south from this road trip, and then we'll do these two and, uh, and North Dakota in the spring, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna pause here and try to think of something else to tell you guys because pretty much everything else is, is, uh, has held up really, really, really well here in Minitini, the trailer. Every, it's, it's, it, I, mean, I, did, I didn't mention the microwave. It's just a standard microwave, no, no convection, nothing crazy like that. This hood has a fan, doesn't really do much. Has a light, which doesn't really light much, as you can see. <laughs> Um, oh, those drawers, I have two more drawers there, usually, um, I'm not even going to open them, because one of them is uh, the underwear drawer, which has become a second drawer of mysteries. The original drawer of mysteries was this one, where I have all kinds of stuff, batteries, uh, tools, uh, flashlights, and all kinds of stuff, and this is, uh, you know, like, cooking utensils. Well, I'm rambling too much. I hope you've gotten a sense of, of, of how well uh, Minitini the trailer here has held up uh, uh, for the past five years. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, comment on this video or send me an email or comment on the website or, or, um, or send a letter to Winnebago and tell them to tell them that, that you, know, you bought your micro mini because I sent you. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, that's it. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Oh, I forgot to mention I added this 12 volt outlet and I have a, a USB hub there to charge all my stuff. And yeah, we got a fire extinguisher too. And down here, well, and there is a mess.